So like I said, Vice gets really skeptical that you're going to be able to give any necessary and sufficient conditions on what it is to be art, uh, the way that folks have tried to in the past. And in this, he's a lot like uh, this, this philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein, who is very skeptical that you could give a conceptual analysis, necessary and sufficient conditions, for any concept. And a lot of philosophers that have followed Wittgenstein, myself included, think, yeah, this is probably right for a whole bunch of concepts, maybe even all of them. So Wittgenstein claimed, look, for any concept, be it like tree or penguin or game or bachelor, give it any kind of necessary and sufficient condition you like, you're always going to be able to find some counterexample that you know doesn't meet the necessary conditions or something that meets the sufficient conditions, but nonetheless doesn't count as being part of that concept. So Wittgenstein said, look, we should just do away with this whole project of trying to give necessary and sufficient conditions on concepts and start thinking about the way that concepts work, these ideas work as line in a sort of what he called a family resemblance or what Weitz calls an open texture. So the idea that, that Wittgenstein has in mind here is the idea of trying to figure out, well, like, what could we say about what it means for someone to count as a knoll or to count as a smith? So suppose that these, these people down at the, the bottom of the screen here, they're all part of the smith family. And so you might ask, oh, OK, so we want to do a conceptual analysis of the concept member of the Smith family, what are some necessary and sufficient conditions on being a member of the Smith family? And you might start trying to say like, well, it's necessary that, you know, you have a nose of a certain shape, or it's necessary that, you know, you have a certain number of teeth, but yeah, you know, you're probably always going to be able to come up with some family member or another that doesn't meet those conditions. So they can't be necessary conditions. They're not, there's not going to be one uh, 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 condition that every single member of the F Smith family meets. Instead, what we can do is say, well, look, what in general kind of separates the Smith family from the Jones family? Well, the Smith family has this kind of family resemblance. Maybe they don't all have the same nose, but a lot of them have the same nose. And if you don't have the same nose, then you probably have the same eyes that a lot of the other ones do. So there's all these there's all these interconnections, certain certain uh, traits like having a certain shape of nose or having certain you know color eyes that are shared by a lot of the Smiths, but not all of them. And you kind of see this this general family resemblance. So there aren't any necessary conditions for belonging to the Smiths. There aren't any sufficient conditions. No, to be a Smith, well, you have to just be enough like the Smiths. You've got to have enough family resemblance to all of them. And Wittgenstein says, look, that's the best we're going to be able to do with stuff like the concept of game, or even something that seems like maybe you can give necessary and sufficient conditions for, like Bachelor. Um, my hope is, is that by this point, you've discovered just how very hard it is to come up with necessary and sufficient conditions for things like game or even bachelor. And Wittgenstein is saying, look, you're just not going to be able to do it. Uh, you should just start thinking of games as, be, as bearing this family resemblance relationship instead. Yeah, maybe a lot of games involve competition, but not all of them. And if they don't involve competition, well, then they probably involve some other property that a lot of other games have, like entertainment as well. And so to be a game, well, you've got you've to have just like some of those properties, but none of them are necessary. Neither, neither, none of them are sufficient to make you a game. You just have to have mm, some number of some of them. And so what Weitz does is he picks up this idea of Wittgenstein and says, look, definitely, like whether Wittgenstein is right about games or other concepts, this is definitely going to be the story about the concept of art. You're never going to be able to give necessary and sufficient conditions on what it takes to be art. The best thing you're going to be able to do is kind of sketch out, well, what are the, the family resemblances between different pieces of art and decide, yeah, whether any new piece that's up for consideration counts 
as bearing a family.